everybody welcome back to the channel once again i am robert storms as always if you're finding me for the very first time please be sure to click that like and subscribe button so wandavision finished up and a lot of people aren't happy did wandavision suck did it suck did it did it suck well that's what we're going to kind of talk about today now there was a lot of fan theories going on how this series was going to end who was controlling who who's going to show up who was going to be the special guest cameo a lot of people were talking about this and i think a lot of people were let down uh even screen ran here did the, like every mcu theory wandavision debunked pretty much and, and i want to talk about are we getting to a point in our culture to where we set our expectations so high that no matter what they give us isn't good enough for us. We're, we're so far into the theory world where everybody wants to, you know, look at every little frame and go, oh my God, do you see that fly on the wall? That has to be Mephisto in disguise. Oh my God, do you see that on the wall? Oh my God, do you see the way that mailman looked at? Like, everything has to be something, right? Everything. It's a fucking, the Illuminati. The Illuminati's in charge of WandaVision. Look, not everything means something i'm just gonna say that um yes i had my theories like everybody else i, I think everybody who watched the show had theories of what was going to happen in the show but at the same time these are just theories that i said oh you know what that would be really cool if the new white uh, the the new white vision was ultron that would make a lot of sense to me that ultron somehow managed to live on in the internet and now you know sword is building this new vision and it would be ultron i thought that would be interesting i thought that would be cool i thought it would also be cool that maybe magneto show up at some point and we get the new magneto or mephisto was in charge of uh, the whole thing that was going on i thought a lot of these theories were cool and i thought the way the series was laid out that a lot of that was very plausible but when it didn't happen at the end, I didn't call the show bad writing or they took the lazy way out. We have to realize as fans that this stuff was filmed and written over a year ago. So while we're piecing all this shit together, the story's already done. It's not like they were sitting up here going, okay, oh my God, what's, what, what's all the theories? Oh my God, okay, okay, okay. Well, we're going to debunk all this shit right now, and we're going to go and film the next episode. That's not how it goes. They filmed all these things together. All this stuff was done a year ago, or at least eight months to a year ago. All this stuff was done. Before the very first episode aired, everything was done. So it wasn't like they were getting feedback and then changing it to purposely piss off the fans. I think fans are really, you know, thinking that that's the case, that they, they're lazy. They did the lazy way out. They had a story that they wanted to tell, and they told their story. It didn't matter if they gave us Ultron, Vision, or Mysteria, or uh, Mephisto, or, or even Mysterio, or, or even Doctor Strange. It doesn't matter if they gave us any of those, those things, because they set up the story that they wanted to tell. What is WandaVision at its core? WandaVision is a, a, a show about a character who is broken. She is broken, guys. And when I mean broken, she is more broken than any of the, uh, of the other MCU characters. She is just broken down to the essence. You think about what this girl has gone through since she was very, very young. She lost her mom. She lost her father. She lost her brother. She lost her love of her life and vision. She has nothing at the end of Endgame. Everybody has something. You know, yes, Pepper lost Tony, but she still has her daughter. Wanda has no one at the end of Endgame. And then the grief manifested into this power that she didn't know how to control, created this world, and it was the evolution of her becoming the Scarlet Witch. Every little commercial, everything that happened throughout this series that people want to point out and go, Infinity Stone, oh, this means that, this just me. At the core, it was just recapping all the horrible events of her life. Like I said, mother, father, brother. Then she did the thing in uh, Sokovia with... with the or was you know when she blew up the thing on accident like all that stuff just manifest she had a horrible past and nothing but grief and it just manifested into this hex the hex doesn't really need to mean anything other than it was just a hex that she casted that she didn't know how to control and it was the evolution of her becoming the scarlet witch and by the end she became the scarlet witch that was the story so yes i had theories like everybody else 
But at the end of the day, we have to be able to set our expectations and go, yes, these are fan theories. But not everything has to happen the way I want it to happen. For example, I'm a massive Metal Gear fan. Tadeo Kojima throws a lot of crazy shit. And every time there's a new Metal Gear, I have a lot of theories. Do all the theories come through? No. But do I hate the games because it didn't come through the way I wanted? No. I, I let the storytellers tell their story. So I know there's a lot of people that was massively disappointed with the way the series wrapped up. But I really honestly think if you take this 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 notion of your expectations meet this and you expect this this thing. Like, I think people are expecting like this end game level shit every time Marvel does something now. And that's not going to be the case. And newsflash, Captain America Winter Soldier... All it is is going to be a story, the origin story of how Sam becomes Cap. That's all it's going to be. So don't sit there with your fan theories and all that. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be the progression of him becoming Captain America. Just like this was the progression of Wanda becoming the Scarlet Witch, where will lead into her and Doctor Strange 2. It's that simple, guys. So anyway, guys, be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion. Later, guys.